What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero. Welcome back to Let's Play Portal 2 Blind. In the last episode, we... What did we do? We we bounced around quite a bit, and we were introduced to this path of natural light that if we let our face get too close to, it'll burn right off. And now... Now what? Um, I think what we're going to want to do is... create our own little path by doing something like that. Sounds about right. Ooh. That's a pretty neat view. Now, let's see, what goes on here? Where's it gonna drop the, uh, the block? Hello? Oh. I see. So I think what I need to do, then, is find some means of creating a path over there. I don't think that's going to work with the glass, though. But now that we've activated it, it seems like the blocks just keep on coming. Which means I don't actually need to physically be on that side for the blocks to, I don't know, create a path. However... I mean, I could do something like that, but I don't think that'll be too helpful. At least doesn't seem to be. And I don't see a place where... Hmm. Okay, there's clearly got to be something else going on. Let's see if I can get up over there. Something like that. And I can actually just go out here like that and see what exactly is going on over here. Oh, it's interrupted by the uh, glass. That's good to know. So what does this even do? That opens the door. Okay, so pretty much confirms that I need to get the, the cube over here, which is not too surprising, but it is useful nonetheless. I also need a way out of here, so we're gonna do that. <laughs> now, how do I get one of the blocks? Because there's glass there, right? I can't fire a portal in there if I wanted to. So how do I get a block from there? Because I just don't think... That it's gonna work. Can I even get in there? I highly doubt I'm supposed to go underwater. I could see what's back there, I guess. I think that's the only thing I can think of at the moment, so might as well take a look. Interesting. So there's clearly some stuff going on here. The question is, how do I do anything involving it? I bet if I fire the beam like this and I'm standing right here, I'll fall a little bit, but I'll come back up. Similarly, if I use this, like right here, now I should be able to get one of the cubes. Interesting. Let's see if I can just grab it as it falls. There we go. Okay, so that was pretty cool. That required quite a bit of uh, thinking outside the box, for the sake of the box, that is. Now, we can do that again. And that should be good. Cool. Ooh, we did make this jump a little bit more difficult for ourselves, but we should be good. Nice. Okay, so we've done that. Now we can go back through here, up here, and... Across. So that one took a little bit more than uh, a minute to figure out, but we're doing pretty well. And these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? <laughs> Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. Yikes. <laughs> Literally every interesting fact, every joke is twisted into some jab at us. It's alright though, I can understand GLaDOS's salt a little bit. 
I don't blame GLaDOS for being upset that we, you know, destroyed her. I figured out what to do it, with all the money him. I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. As if people can look and be like, ah, oh, that's that bone structure? Mm, not feeling it. I'm gonna try and avoid that bone structure. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Am I really supposed to just wait? Hey, hey, up here. <gasps> Find some bird eggs up here. Just Where are you? The door mechanism. Shut it right down. Like, oh my goodness! <laughs> Wheatley. Okay. Why are you the Stop best? It, the lady eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Yeah, you, you don't say, keep Wheatley. Just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me. Never saw me. Oh my god. Wheatley, right, you are excellent. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. <laughs> living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Yikes. All right, any more light paths? Yes, okay, up there. However, forgive my yawn, did not sleep super well. So that's gonna drop stuff there, but I need to create a light path for myself. The thing is, I don't see how I can get over there unless I jump onto the light path from over here, like that. So, then if I were to do something like that, I'll have enabled that, but now I can't get over to it, which is less than ideal. I might have to make some sort of like stepping structure for myself. What if I were to do this, and just kind of fell over like that, and then made another beam like right there? That was the wrong one. <laughs> that was not the right button. That's right, I always need to make sure there's one portal that goes to the, um, the original light source. So, we'll try that again. Okay, so now, from here, I can only click the orange portal. No, the, the blue portal to move things around. Right? Or no. I mean, I haven't even affected the light source yet. So whichever one I do here, so if I were to do blue, for example, now I cannot, I can only use the orange portal to get myself out. And I feel like what's going to be a good way of doing so is walking through the portal I created. Wow, that was intelligent. Um, let's, let's hit this button now. Here I am trying to create some sort of like elaborate mechanism to slowly step down my way over around. I could just walk through the portal itself. So again, I still can only use the orange portal. What we'll do is, I don't know, fire around there. Maybe a little bit higher, right? Because we're going to want to get over there. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. So let's hope it falls on there. And it stays. So now that we have this, I wonder if there's like a better way to step down. Wait, what? No! That's not what I wanted to happen. And of course, there absolutely is. Alright. So we'll pick this up. Then we'll like place it right about here. And then what I can do... Ooh, I wanna... Can I shoot a portal through the, the light? I can. Okay. That's good information. And now well we should done. be all set. In fact, you did so well. I'm going to note this on your file. In the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. <laughs> did well. Enough. I enough. <laughs> oh, man, the humor. The humor in this game is too good. When did this game come out? It feels so polished.
has such character to it. And obviously there are hints of, you know, the greater story going on. You remember them, right? No! things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. <laughs> that's you in five seconds that's so funny we're obviously getting hints you know now that Wheatley's around and Wheatley's planning some sort of breakout not very effectively it seems but is planning something that that is going to be the end result um I forget how do I get rid of these things again don't I just like knock them over right like like that Okay, it's dead. Um, I almost forgot how to interact with them. But, yeah, so we're getting hints at this sort of deeper, ongoing story, right? Sleep mode activated. Can you just fall over, please? This music is intense. That's something I don't think that I've really paid too much attention to, is the Portal 2 soundtrack. Because it's not like, straight up bangers or anything like that, god that word. I guess that works. Um, but yeah, it's not like the, the soundtrack is like, straight up super memorable or standout songs, but they do a great job at contributing to the atmosphere of the game, no doubt. So we've got a block here. We've got two turrets over there. Hmm. Clearly we've got this glass as well. The question is... What are we supposed to do with this stuff? Yep, we're still- I'm still here. Oh! Dang. My- my B. Is there like- there's gotta be a better way of going about this, right? I don't think I can interact with any of the portals in there. What about on the other side, like in that corner? No? So I've clearly gotta get rid of these things. The question is, what's a good way of doing so? I could build a little bit of a, I don't know, stepping stool, I guess? Like that, with the blocks? That's all I can think of at the moment, as far as a relatively safer way of getting through this. Rather than just, I don't know, running in there and hoping for the best. Or... Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure you guys, well, a lot of you guys probably already have it down. For those of you that are watching this for the first time... Try and, try and think through the puzzles before I come up with my own little solutions, I guess, and see if it works well for you. Because that... This solution does not seem to be working out too well. Oh, I can't even jump over it. Alright, well... Here's what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna... Die, it seems. <laughs> I thought I could maybe jump past the one... That one over there, and... I don't know, get to that relatively safer area. But that was not the case. Oh, wait a minute, who am I kidding? I remember, I'm supposed to use these as like a shield. <laughs> Were they attacking each other? Can they take each other out? I don't even remember that being a thing. Let's see here. I can throw some of these in the middle here, like that just for the sake of blocking one of them, and then I can maybe grab the turret on the left and use that as a shield as I approach the other turret. So like, now that I have those there, I can go up over here and grab this one. Heal up for a moment, I guess. Well, I guess that one fell over and died, so that works, fair enough. Okay, I guess we'll take it. So, what I'm tempted to do is take them out slowly, one by one, by doing something like that. Because the orange portal is all the way over there, I can just, well, do that for the most part. Let's take a cube and just kind of force our way through these. We can just knock them over with the cube.
gonna want to avoid that portal. Oh my, no! I fell. Darn it. That was not the intent. Where are we going now, though? This is an interesting place. This doesn't look like the testing chambers. Are we gonna have a reunion with uh, Wheatley, finally? Are we? Did we discover, like, a secret hideout of some sort? To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. Oh my. So you may be confused about the passage of time. Yeah, Maybe definitely. Yesterday was your birthday. I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> the day after. Thank you so much. Whoa. Interesting. So I thought I was like... You know, in this separate area, discovering the secret hideout or something, and then, nope, Gladys is like, well, here you are back in the testing chamber. How convenient. So these things are, I'd imagine the intent is, we shine a laser at them, and, ah, I see. So, ideally I'm able to get all three going. However, obviously given that they form a triangle right now, I can't really get all three of them at once. So the question then is, do I have another block? Or, instead, do I use a portal to continue the path beyond what it originally allows for? You know how I'm going to live forever. There we go. You're going to be dead in 60 years. 60? Well, That's quite a bit of time. A birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. <laughs> What's important is it's a present. <laughs> I don't want any medical experiments going on for my birthday. Of course, GLaDOS is all about experiments, so can't say that I'm surprised. That you're but... wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. That other GLaDOS wrote. Fine. But right here, a scientist has noted that on you it looks stupid. <laughs> well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait, it's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh, wait, it says she has a medical degree. In fashion, <laughs> from France. That's hilarious. Okay, so what's the... What's the goal here? Clearly do something with this light path. I don't know what yet, though. Can I knock it over like that, or I can block it? It can't see me over here. Interesting. So I guess that's what they're trying to teach with this. And now, I don't know, I can do something like that. And then, I don't know, we can just knock this over, I guess? Oh my, there are a lot of turrets over there question is, let's see here, let's do something like that. <laughs> so now it's somewhat, it's become somewhat of like a stealth mission. Just trying to place the light path so that we don't get seen by some of these turrets. So now I could do something like that. Those guys don't really matter. However, I need to stand on this with a block, and the block is clearly behind all of the turrets. We have an aerial faith something that'll bring me up there. The question is, will I be safe up there? Probably not. Interesting. So, those enable me to cross this area without even needing the light path there. So that's worth noting. Could do something like that, but that was not enough. Not low enough, at least. Could do that. Hmm. I think what I'll want to do is actually raise that a bit. And then, I don't know. I want to be able to get up there. So I can obviously go like that. But it's going to be really tough to approach. <laughs> These guys. 
unless I approach from above. So the question is, how do I, without getting detected, get up there? And I feel like the answer lies in this. Oh, I see what I have to do. I have to interrupt my path. Like so. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, we're gonna do that for now then. Oh, dang. Um, knock everything over! And don't die. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. So before I do that, is there a way that I can protect myself from these guys? No. Oh, no, there is. Can I not? Alright, we'll do this then. So that as soon as I open this door, it's not like I'm going to get obliterated by those turrets. Then we can afford a uh, more tactical approach. Oh, I'm still there, alright. Interesting. Alright, well, uh, we'll put that up there for a moment, and then that. And we're all good! I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and huh. a woman. Interesting. So interesting. I don't know if this is just a it's joke, a or if it's actually story, like, meaningful, right? If there are two people with the same last name, a man and a woman, some sort of, I don't know, creationist analogy, or just a joke. At the insignificance of my last name. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. What are the interesting you would spoil the surprise? Different types so of turrets? Give you a hint. It huh. involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. Two people I haven't seen in a long time. Uh oh. Companion cube or or what? I, I see. No portals I can fire there? No? Oh my! <laughs> so there's a lot going on here, obviously. Alright, so clearly what I need to do is... Use this laser to take him out. Okay, and then what I'm going to want to do is use this cube to redirect things, Hello. right? I think so, at least. We'll move this cube, and then, I don't know, we can place this, like, right about here. And then, oh, we can bring the cube over to the switch so we can at least see the laser all the time, have it constantly activated. Can I crouch in this game? I feel like I can, but I don't actually remember it. So we can aim a bit like this. There we go. And with that, we should be good to, to move on. We're kind of, we're moving through these puzzles pretty quickly in my opinion. <laughs> Thanks for celebrating us, GLaDOS. Um, all these different turrets, are they just different cases, or are they different actual turrets, right? That's what I'm wondering. I wouldn't be surprised if they introduced new types of turrets that have different attacking patterns, or different um, AI behaviors, or if some of them are able to move to an extent. That would definitely be a level up from what it we've been dealing with up until this was point. designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. <laughs> well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. <laughs> Yikes. So this is puzzle 17 out of 22, presumably. What do we have here? So we've got a laser getting blocked by this thing on this path. What I can do is, I don't know, create a little pathway for myself onto here. So I can remove this block so that that activates. And then I can presumably do that. There's got to be something I'm missing. 
And it's that I need this to come down, I think. Right? But it's not coming down even when it's not activated. So how do I get up there? Ah, I see. So I can go up here and then from up here fire an orange portal over like that. And then, oh wait, no, that's not even the right like horizontal area though. Hmm. What if... I gotta make my way up there somehow. How do I get up there? Are there any aerial flight pads or whatever? <laughs> aerial faith launchers or whatever? I'm not seeing a whole lot. But I'm not seeing a lot in general. So, maybe what I want to do is go all the way up here. So I can get a bit of a better perspective from up here. No, it doesn't seem like there's anything... Oh wait, there might be something over here. Aha! That's what it is. Let's move over a little bit. There we go. Now, what's going on over here? Is this one of those secret hideouts, or is this part of the test chamber? Given the music change, I'm not sure. Is this the observation area, or... Oh, this is definitely one of the hideouts. So, they've clearly got a lot of mugs. If Lizzie ever watches, this will be like her future hideout. <laughs> And plenty of beans. They were hiding out here for quite some time. What does this say? The bell invites, hear the turret, for it is Nell that summons to heaven or to hell. Huh? Tenacity. I think they were trying to program... Trying to program tenacity or something like that. The question is, is it tenacity of... Us? Like, are we actually a robot or something like that? Are we a personality construct put in a human body? Or is this referring to, like, why do they have a picture of this person who clearly looks like ourselves, I think? Interesting. Very interesting. What do we have here? This thing like seeing, only not with eyes. Interesting. Very creepy. Very cool. Alright, so now what? Let's do something like this. Can I can I get across? No, I can't. So how do I get up on that platform? I don't see any way to do so. It's gotta be something I'm missing. All right, let's um, let's take this kind of step by step again. We'll we'll drop down to here. So this is activating that, which then activates the door, I believe. Right. So if we take that up here and block this again. Wait, it's coming down now. Why did it come down before? Darn. Okay, so... So the question then is... How do I get on here? And then from here... Do all of this? I don't think there's a way I can make the... The block drop right so I think what I need to do is actually recreate the light path over here so that it'll block the laser path here and then have it drop from there onto this switch I think that's gonna be my best bet so let's give that a go alright we've got this and then while we're here we'll set up the other path right about there 
And we can drop it like that. I think that'll be good. Wait, no! I didn't want to... I didn't want to pick it up again. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the solution. Okay. Now... I can uh, go over here. And simply by changing the light path to, I don't know, up there, force that to drop I and activate the laser. I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years... Our surprise? I'm choked up just thinking about it. I mean, we are progressing through quite a few levels. I think we'll be on the 18th coming up soon. So we are getting close to that, that 22, which is what it seems like is going to be the maximum number of testing chambers. But we've also got the illusion that or allusion to all the different escape methods we're going to have to do, but... Ooh, a new chapter? Chapter 4, The Surprise. Oh, man. Did I, did I call it when I was going to say that something is going to come up before the end of the 22nd trial? Oh, man. Oh, man. What? All right. Initiating surprise in three, <laughs> is it going to be a birthday two, cake? Is it going to be the cake? No. I made it all up. <laughs> oh, come on. If it That's hilarious. Any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. Oh, come on. Don't be like that, GLaDOS. Don't be like that. That's pretty funny. Okay, so... I see a lot of turrets. We're certainly going to need to make use of that, and that, presumably, and these various lights. And there's a turret down there? Or over there? Definitely over there. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is figure out if there's a cube of some sort I can activate. And it looks like it'll be over there. We're all right. We're all right. All right. You're gonna. Oh darn! How do I get over there then? Because clearly that's where the cube comes from, right? I mean, I don't want to have to like rush at the turret or something. I can't. I need to be able to redirect the laser at it. The question is how? So... I mean, I can do something like that, but that's not really going to help. I don't... I feel like I need something to redirect. Okay, that's probably just like a place for observation. How do I redirect everything? Oh, I see. So... Hmm... I can't do that. So I've clearly got to make my way up there somehow. This one is, this one is puzzling me. 
I clearly need one of these cubes, right? I've got to construct a path. I feel like I've got to construct a path over there. But how do I even get up there, right? Hmm. This one's got me puzzled, guys. Right? Because... I mean, I could... No, it's not like I can try falling from there onto a path that I create. Right? If there was something to fling me through that end of the portal, I think I'd be fine, but I'm not seeing that. Let's see here. This is bulletproof glass, so we're safe behind here. All I can think of is, like... go through the glass? No, it won't. Yeah, I don't really have anything at the moment. All I can think of is maybe if I, like, created a hole here, right? <laughs> like, I don't know, I could fall into this again or something like that. Like if I were to do, I don't know, that. <laughs> could get some weird, weird stuff going on with just like falling into the, the hole over and over again. But I don't really see that being a very fruitful line of thinking. I definitely got to make my way over there somehow. But I'm not really seeing how how I can, or should, for that matter. I've got to do something with that laser. If this takes too long, I'll probably use some editing magic to make this a little bit more watchable for you guys. I'm just not seeing it right now. Because I'm, I'm going to need some means of moving that laser elsewhere, right? Through potentially these to light things up. And I'm going to need a block to do it because I can't use portals in that area. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe I've been focusing on using a light path to get over there when I could just do something as simple as... I can't even believe that I didn't think of that. That's what happens when you fixate on one particular aspect of a solution too much. Alright, so that's going to drop... Okay, so I clearly need to stop that from happening. Oh man, I really want to get rid of this thing. Can I not just... Ah! Uh... Alright, let's see here. So what's what are the means of getting rid of that then? Preventing them from... I don't know, just hitting each other like that. I feel like I need to construct a pathway in the middle right but I don't see anything at that height so maybe the goal then is let's see that'll work yeah is to construct a vertical pathway like that and try that 
Cool, so now we have two of them over there. I think that was the intent. Now let's use this to set up a nice little shield for ourselves again. And then with this, I can finally start working with the laser. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is this. Why, you may ask? The answer is really simple. Before anything else, I just want to aim at this and take this out. Um, hello? Is it really too low for me to use it to aim at them? That would be a real shame. I thought it... Come on. That's annoying. Alright, the only other thing I can think of then... Is... Because I really want to get rid of this turret. So we can line ourselves up like that. And we're not going to have a means of firing away at it. Is there really no means of doing so? It doesn't seem like it. That will be really annoying though, to have to deal with the, the turret guys all the time. Especially because it seems like it's having a tough time even just like covering all of the bullets. And it's not at the right height it seems. Oh wait, no. I just have to like tilt it downwards. Whew. Alright, well that's making my life a lot easier now. So, clearly I just need to redirect things a couple times. Do I need all of these activated? Probably. Or maybe they're just a guide. Can I though? These are not on the same line, so there's no way I can do that. However, I may want to, um, oops. Might be. Go like this. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. Oh wait, they're dead. Or oh wait, they abandoned you or something like that, right? Do not know you. <laughs> sad, but impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Oh man, I thought that was like a whole bunch of turrets coming down at first. I was like, hold up a second. I, I did not sign up for all of this. But that, that puzzle was... I, I don't know if it was all that much tougher as hey, much as my going? mindset was wrong. Away onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this show. <laughs> I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. On a break. Ah, Wait, but you crack me just up. Hang in there for five more. What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, <laughs> mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Oh my God, so funny. <laughs> Wheatley, Wheatley's the best. Easily the best. So we just got five more chambers, five more tests to make our way through before probably things are going to ramp up quite a bit. You know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. Math? Does, did somebody say math? Can I, can I get some more math? Anyways, we're going to continue with the next trial, the next chamber, in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys... We're all right with your first dose of me getting a little stumped on a puzzle that probably had a much easier solution, or did have a much easier solution than I was giving it credit for. And so I hope that went over well, and I hope you guys are enjoying the puzzle so far, and I hope you're looking forward to the story elements that I'm sure are to come pretty soon at the end of these test chambers. And we've seen a little bit of a glimpse of, you know, some of the more... There's something more to learn about this, 
given the hideouts, right? They talk about the tenacity. We keep seeing pictures of what looks like us from the first game. So I don't know why, or I don't know what happened during those years, but clearly something really important. But because we'll hopefully find out a little bit more about it in the next episode. But until then, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. Thank you.